Today, 821 million people are undernourished. Many millions of children worldwide are also not growing well. 151 million children under five years of age are stunted. So this is what I have to share with you. Food security and nutrition are directly or indirectly related to all the SDGs. So it can be considered as a precondition or prerequisite to sustainable development goals, SDGs. If we can accelerate this knowledge exchange, then we can accelerate its implementation and take actions that are more concrete. The Global Nutrition Report indicates that no country is free from malnutrition, which calls for a true spirit of partnership among us. We can achieve more united than separated. I am here with my delegation to look for solutions that can end hunger and malnutrition particularly in my country, Zambia. I am confident that the vast knowledge and best practices around this conference are sufficient enough to propel Zambia to success. The African Union Agenda 2063 has made nutrition a top priority. This will be achieved by modernizing our agriculture systems. The above efforts have yielded improvement in food security in Rwanda. The number of total food secure households increased. Consequently, food consumption has improved across the country compared to the situation three years ago. We, um released earlier at this event, this, this book right here. Um, I understand copies were available of it before. Um, I don't think any are left, but if you'd like to get a hard copy of this, uh, just please send me an email. We are all responsible for achieving the SDGs. The SDGs don't happen just like that. It's you and me and all of us together. And to make that happen, we all need to get to work. Uh, I would say probably the progress in reducing hunger and malnutrition. Our generation is better positioned than any other generation before us to address the challenge of hunger and malnutrition in all its forms. We have the knowledge and the tools to take action. Acceleration will happen when different policies and actions come together. It is about policy coherence and collaboration. There should be shared goals and mutual accountability across actors and decision makers. <laughs>